Coming back. <laughs> Oh, you just want to hang with Twitch chat, huh? All right, gonna I'm gonna call, I gotta work. I gotta pay for your food. I gotta gotta get that grub, son. Yeah. In the the time of my life, and I never felt this way before, and I swear it's true. And I owe it all to you. Alright, boys and girls, alright. We're gonna take this one nice and steady, eh? Nice and steady. I've heard a bit about this BCQT and Casper game now. Oh, does it? S I thought they stopped the uh, animation thing. He couldn't deliver. Aha, so it isn't done yet. Aha, got you, got you, got you. All right, all right. Oh, I 
你马季，你说，请插边。嘘，请插边。有个，有个座，请插边，右边。来，开始一点。大门，闭好了。请别，你说就这。您说要寻我？我不去。听好。你说不去。命令来了，该走了。听。衙门准备好了，请听察兵就绪。有工作。听察兵跑起来。有听察兵。命令来了，请把村民大家准备。听好，您要寻我。好，命令来了，大家准备。请查兵，命令来了。大门好，大家准备。有请军。听好，大门跟出爷，出现。大家准备。衙门村民需要提示。有报分了。命令来了，那就去吧。不要听他吹，听他一面听明白。听他吹，听他吹，来不及。村民，听他吹马前进。第十八辆。村民，听他别按命令，迎接中。是。村民送旨。This is a very funny situation. 有救下，现在起开，快！村民，站起！大娘，起！我不太 mind it too much for me. It's a bit weird having my barbican in the middle of the map, admittedly, but we're just going to finish. And then we had him sweating. And you know what's kind of cool, actually? We do have Song Dynasty now. Which is kind of like, that's a nice thing to have. I guess the one bad thing that I don't have is... I don't have the nice barbican at the front, but as far as other things go, I'm I'm okay with the position. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. There's marches here. I didn't actually see them get over. But luckily we made uh, a stable for a few horse boys. So I'll sort those out shortly. Aha, oh, he's actually going pretty ham here. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, very ham, actually. Now, do I want to add a barracks here? I think I will. Just because I feel that one way I could lose this game is by underestimating this. So I think that's what I'm going to try and not do, is underestimate it. Because I know Casper can be crazy. Absolutely crazy. But is he slowed down now? It's a good question, Benny. We don't know. Either way, we have to go attack him now. It's the state of the game. No, he hasn't slowed down. Okay, okay. So I made the right call. But I knew, but I thought he was going to be super duper duper aggressive against us. We certainly have. We've made the very right call here. And I do know Casper is an aggressive bastard all the time. We are going to clean him up. Okay, now. Where are my worker dudes? Go boost the wood. So boosting some uh, some upgrades here with uh, this fella. And we're getting some nice 
a nice situation going down. But we'll uh, quickly wall this off, because this could uh, be problematic later on. So he does have plus one armor, as do we. Now it does look like instead of trying to tech up, he was like, you know what, we're just making more units, which I'm not super sad about that, because in my head, that's kind of what we would have liked to have played against. At least I think so. Could be wrong. Slowly adding on some farms here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And we'll go for a astronomical plot. I'm trying to close this. Okay, we're deleting that, so then we can put the, uh, the clock tower there in the influence. It's always nice to get some resources out of that, if you can. This is Big Asta here. Hey! Hello! Yeah, Daddy's playing against Casper. Uh, Very good player. But Daddy also wants you to know that I love you very much. Because you're the sweetest, bestest, most beautiful young man in all the world. Hello. Hello. He's, uh, he's possibly teething a bit at the moment. We're not... He's absolutely teething, Alice says. Yeah, you can see it coming through. And so he's a bit sensitive. A smidge sensitive at the moment. But he's also very cute. This push is going ridiculously well. It looks like he was gearing up to take down my Barbican or something. But we just hit him at a timing that he's just not at all prepared for, which that is fantastic for us, isn't it? And we have a uh, level 2 armor upgrades. So these uh, villagers in the halls aren't doing anything really. The knights will uh, eventually clean us up, which is good for him. But... Okay, 
<laughs> when your Imperial officer goes all the way that far, and you're like, dude, no, don't do that. Oh, he's got camel riders, cool. So, Casper is on... Casper is on 3TC, which is close to equivalent of my 2TC, except it's cheaper for him. Which, in the grand scheme of things, I'm not so sad about. God, he's laughing so much, team. He's beautiful. Ooh, a bit of damage. Alright. So this looks like it could be a... A round two all-in kind of thing. But we're going to try and get out of here. The last thing we want is to get butchered. Okay, we're stopping workers now. 139. Should should do it. Should do it. Wow, he's been a keep boy, hasn't he? So he's Imperial. We're Imperial. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Please, it's 
You're having some good fun with him, babe. And I'm losing these to the keeps. You're a bit dangerous. Or mainly him, right? Oh, of course. That happens, babe. That happens. Together. Ah. As long as it was together. Boosting out some big upgrades. All right, you can uh, go over there, sir. And yes, we spent a lot of time killing these keeps, but I think overall it's totally fine to do that. We'll even plonk that there. So income-wise, we're great. This, we're boosting out all these big upgrades. So now we have all those big upgrades. Go boost out this uh, wood chopping. Just give us more of that. Getting relics galore. They did upgrade Tithe Barns, just because. In fact, let's, uh, let's do it around this spirit here. Nem with the gifties. Matey, matey, matey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll go boost that up, won't we? And go collect that. I think he's got burning oil now. Lubricant as well with the Twitch Prime. Nem, lubricant, thank you, thank you, boys and girls. So we've, we've got him on a bunch of camel arch, or camels, which we did initially go lancers, but now we're obviously not on lancers. And uh, yeah, that makes his life a bit worse, I would say. How fast does this die with these palace guards? Pretty fast, especially with the bombard assisting. So many uh, keeps and stuff, didn't he? All right, we can get grenadiers now, team. And we got quite a lot of health again. We're soaking up the gold on the map like crazy. Good morning, good morning. I guess we could say let's get some more siege workshops, even though they're not going to be uh, clock tower things. They're going to be pretty good to have around. What does this do? The uh, Ming Dynasty, so 10% extra health for all my units. And then we can also make Grenadiers, which are 
One of the most badass units in the game, basically. China just goes from being the best late game to the best late game <laughs> is kind of what it does. So we will clean up that army. But again, it's kind of like one of those uh, those situations where it's like, okay, okay, you cleaned up that. What's next? And yeah, we've got uh, lots of grenadiers on the way, so he's about to get super screwed. Can you give some tips for a beginner? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, what would you like? What kind of beginner are you? Plushie, thank you for the nine months, by the way. What does, oh, what does the Wink of Doom do? Wink of Doom, baby. This is always a tricky one for, um... Like this started off quite funny, right? With me trying to do a tower rush and it didn't work so well. If you are a beginner, I recommend trying out something like French. Um, because they actually have... Hold on, let me show you. They actually have here, um, like a difficulty ranking. Uh, so it's like Chinese is apparently three stars. Now this doesn't mean... Th this is... In my eyes, a entry course. So it shows you like kind of how difficult they are to get into. So English and French are apparently the most simple to start. So I'd start off with one of those and just take it easy. 